hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so guys in this video i'll show you how we can perform the object tracking operation using yolo v9 model as well as the by track algorithm so guys so far we have seen like how we can perform the object detection task with the help of yolo v9 if you haven't checked this video so let me show you so i already created uh, one tutorial in my youtube channel so here i showed you how we can perform the custom training on top of the yolo v9 model so please try to check this video if you haven't checked it now in this video i'll show you how we can perform the tracking operation with the help of yolo v9 as well as the byte track okay byte track tracker so if you don't know about byte track byte track is a uh, object tracker actually algorithm with the help of that we can track any kinds of object so the first thing what you have to do we have to detect that object then that detection we have to pass to the tracking algorithm and tracking will track that particular object okay this is the idea so here we'll be using uh, one package called ultralytics uh, if you check my previous video, so there actually I showed you how we can use YOLO v9. That means how we can clone the official repo and how we can install the requirements. But uh, recently what Alternatics did actually, they uh, integrated this YOLO v9 uh, with their, let's say, package. So if you install this Alternatics with the help of Alternatics, you can easily use that YOLO v9 model, okay, for your project. So in this video, I'll show you how we can use this Alternatics one. Even I will also show you uh, with the help of that, how we can detect, how we can track, even how we can also uh do the custom training out of your custom data okay for this actually we'll be using roboflow universe so roboflow universe is one of the amazing platform inside computer vision so there you can get any kinds of computer vision related data even with the help of roboflow universe you can also annotate your data okay it is also possible and if you want to learn how to annotate the data so i already created one tutorial in my youtube channel go ahead and check it out so the first thing what you have to do just try to connect your notebook with the gpu so i already connected now let me uh connect okay connect the runtime so my runtime is connected. Now let me install this Alternatics in my Google Colab. Now it is installed successfully. Now the first thing, uh, we'll do the detection. And if you want to perform the detection, guys, only just need to import YOLO from the Alternatics. And inside YOLO, you just need to pass the model. So here I have given the YOLO V9 model. I already showed you YOLO V9 has one uh, model zoo. From there, you can select different, different model. I have given YOLO V9C model. So it will automatically download that model and it will automatically utilize the YOLO v9 functionality. Okay, this is the main benefit to use this Alternatics package. And here you need to pass the source uh, image or video. So here I want to perform on top of a video. I have one video guys, let me show you. So guys, as you can see, this is my video on top of this video. First of all, I will do the detection, then I will show you the tracker part. Now let me close it. Now I have to first of all upload this video here. So let me upload. So this is my video. And the name of the video is 1.mv4 and I'm passing it to my model. So model will uh, detect and it will show me the results. Okay. Now see it has updated. Now if I execute this code. See first of all it will download the model from the internet. See it is downloading the model from the internet and it's around 49 MB and uh, see now it is loading the video and it is taking the frame it is having actually 1845 uh, frame in this video it will take all the frames and it will do the prediction uh, that means it will do the detection and it will save okay inside a runs folder it has created a runs folder so let's wait uh, once it is completed i will come back so guys as you can see my uh, detection is done now if i open the runs folder inside detect inside prediction so here is the video now let me download so guys, as you can see, my file has downloaded. Now let me open and let me show you. See, uh, this is the detection my model has uh, done. Now what I will do, I will just apply a tracker on top of it. Because it's just a detection, sometimes you will see some laggings. But if you apply the tracker, you will get unique IDs and it will keep on tracking that object Okay, in the real time. So now let me close it. Now to track it, uh, see, this is the code for the tracking. If you're using Alternatics, so it is like very easy, but if you're not Alternatics, so what do you have to do? You have to manually uh, install everything. Let's say you have to manually install uh, by track. You have to manually install, let's say, YOLO V9. Then after getting that uh, detection, you have to pass to the, let's say, tracker. So manually you have to write uh, like so much line of code. But if you're using Alternatics, you don't need to write any kinds of code. Only you just need to give the model and call this particular function called track. Inside that, just pass your source image. Okay, it will automatically track and show you the results. Okay. So it's one of the amazing things they have done, this Alternatics. Now let me show you the tracker part as well. 
in my youtube channel also previously i created uh, some content related object tracking like how we can perform the tracking and all let me show you so here is the video guys so there actually i was installing the tracker uh, like manually separately i was installing and i was using it so you can also check this video so you will get the difference uh, between this one and that one so what i feel like this one is uh, more good because i don't want to write uh, like so much line of code and i don't want to install like uh, everything manually so only i just need to get my job okay somehow so i think this this approach is pretty good because here you have to select the model and pass the data and it will give you the tracking okay tracking results now let's wait once tracking is completed i will come back so it is done now if i refresh and go inside runs folder again detection now you can see it has created one folder called track and inside you will get the results now let me download this video so guys my video has downloaded now let me show you the tracker uh see this is the tracker and this is like a very good tracker this by tracker it can also uh, track the smaller object present inside of let's say frame uh so you can try i'll share this notebook in the description section so you can also try and it's like very i mean accurate okay it's like very accurate even it can also uh, run on top of your cpu machine okay you can also set up everything on your cpu machine okay it will work so yes this is the let's say demo i just wanted to show you now let me tell you if you want to train your uh, custom like data set let's say you want to train yolo v9 model for this actually so for this actually what you can do so first of all uh here is the data set guys you can use uh, roboful universe universe uh, dot roboflow so this is an amazing platform guys as i already told you it is having all kinds of data so you simply you can search here any kinds of data let's say you need uh, license plate data just search for license plate you will see different different license plate data okay you can pick up let's say you want to do a uh, fire detection you can simply search for fire see fire related data plus you will get so here i already added one data set link so let me open so this is one of the fire data set uh it's a fire smoke data set you can see okay so you can take this data so let's say you want to train uh, yolo v9 what you can do select the yolo v9 uh, and see this data set is already annotated inside universe you don't need to annotate it but if you want to annotate your own data what you can do you can check this video i have created okay so that's how you can annotate your own data so if you want to download it as a zip file you can select it and you can download it otherwise you can also get the code click on continue so it will give you the code snippet okay just copy the code and paste it here okay it will download the data then after that what you have to do just select the model you want to let's say fine tune then give the data.yml file location so after downloading you will see that one data.yml file would be there you just need to give the location then try to define the epoch the number of epoch we want to train and the image size okay then after that if you execute the program it will train the model after that what you can do in the runs folder there would be a train folder inside wait folder you will see your model okay that model you can use for the prediction now you can give any kinds of video or image you can do the prediction it will give you the prediction okay so here i already did one experiment and everything i have added in this notebook so you can try guys the this particular example okay whatever things i have given in my notebook so yes guys uh, i hope you liked it and again i'm telling you guys this is like very easy approach to perform the let's say detection and uh this tracking part uh, if you don't want to install manually you can follow this particular approach okay so with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time